as a technologist, um, my relationship to technology, I'd say for the 25 years I've been doing this, has been to view it as a democratizing force. Um, I believe it's the most democratizing uh, impact that mankind has ever seen. It's leveled the playing field and has enabled globally fair access on a mass scale. One of, I think, society's most pressing challenges and humanity's most pressing challenges is how to enable fair access and how to address what I sometimes refer to as the global opportunity crisis that we face, where half the planet's population lives on less than $2 a day, where people don't have fair access to capital, to resources to better their lives. Probably one of the most compelling examples of how technology is democratizing is uh, what Kiva has achieved by bringing micro lending to the internet and really giving birth to crowdfunding, connecting people person to person through technology uh, and enabling loans to be crowdsourced around the world. From the first borrower who was a fishmonger in Uganda uh, nearly one and a half million entrepreneurs all over in 75 countries have received over half a billion dollars in loans. 99% of those loans have been repaid, which is really upholds this discovery that, that the poor and low income entrepreneurs are in fact an excellent credit risk. What's exciting now is that with mobile technology, person-to-person uh, -person loans can happen directly over a mobile phone, uh, which, is a, which is a level of directness and a disintermediation we've never seen before. And this is very exciting to us because we have the potential to reach billions of people um, much more quickly and in a way that was never possible before.